Devotional service surpasses all the duration. How much a devotee <coughs> is seriously attached to the devotional service of the Supreme Personality of Godhead can be understood from the statement of Maharaj Pritu, Adi Raja, which is described in Srimad Bhagavatam, 4th Canto, 20th Chapter, 21st Verse. Verse. He prays to the Supreme Personality of Godhead thusly, My dear Lord, if after taking liberation, I have no chance of hearing the glories of your Lordship, glories chanted by pure devotees from the core of their hearts in praise of your lotus feet, and if I have no chance for this honey of transcendental bliss, then I shall never ask for liberation or this so-called spiritual emancipation. I shall simply always pray unto your Lordship that you may give me millions of tongues and millions of ears so that I can constantly chant and hear of your transcendental glory. Surpasses all kinds of liberation. There are five kinds of liberation. Sajudya Sarupa Salukka Samitva. But a pure devotee does not want any of such liberty. Diyamana Nagindanti. Even liberation is offered. Krishna offers liberation very easily. But Krishna's personal touch is so sublime that Krishna is carrying order of Maharaj Yudhishthi. Uh, Maharaj Yudhishthi is sending letter, handed over to Krishna, and he is carrying to Dujyadam. So Narada was very much surprised that uh, this stage of uh, dependent on devotee uh, is very, very difficult to achieve. To achieve liberation is not very difficult. But when Krishna becomes dependent on the uh, order of a devotee, uh, that is very difficult to achieve. So therefore, pure devotional service surpasses all kinds of liberation. Uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also teaches, Samo Janmani Janmani Ishare Bhavata Bhakti Dhoi Liberation means no more but But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Mamo Janmani Janmani. Birth after birth. Uh, but the, a devotee does not want anything of the material thing. Radhanang Najanang Sundari Kavitang Vajagadi Sukhava. So this pure devotional service is a different subject matter. Dharma Projita Kavita Vatra. Therefore, uh, uh, Vyasdev says that all kinds of motivated religious system is rejected from devotion. Parajita, koitava. Koitava means motivated. In devotional society, there is no motive uh, simply to serve Krishna. Anupalena Krishna, Anupalena. That is pure duty. Go on. The impersonalist desire to merge into the existence of the Supreme, but without keeping their individuality, they have no chance of hearing and chanting the glories of the Supreme Lord. Because they have no idea of the transcendental form of the Supreme Lord, there is no chance of their chanting and hearing of his transcendental activity. Mm. They impersonally take it this chanting as <coughs> means to attain liberty. Uh, they do not know that the chanting uh, is, is the uh, real chanting begins after liberty. Not that by chanting one reaches liberty. No. That's not the fact. 
सततम कीर्तन तंग माम यतन तस्वृता सततम सततम मीन्स आप कह लिबरेशन ऑफ दिस चैंटिंग विल कंटिन्यू आफ्टर लिबरेशन ऑफ नॉट दैट आफ्टर लिबरेशन चैंटिंग विल फिनिश भगवत गीता जी से सततम सततम मीन्स आफ्टर लिबरेशन ऑफ बिफोर लिबरेशन एंड आफ्टर लिबरेशन दैट विट इज नित्य नित्य मीन्स इट डज नॉट स्टॉप नेवर स्टॉप सतनम कीर्तन तंग माम जतन तुष्टी चमंती दिरव्रता वेन यू एक्चुअली गो टू गोलोक वृंदावन द सेम चैंटिंग इज गॉन बिफोर कृष्णा चैंटिंग इज नेवर स्टॉप इन अदर वर्ड Unless one is already beyond liberation, one cannot relish the transcendental glories of the Lord, nor can one understand the transcendental form of the Lord. A similar statement is found in the Srimad Bhagavatam, the fifth canto, fourteenth chapter, forty-third verse. Sukadeva Goswami addresses Parikshit Maharaj there and says, "The great soul of King Bharata was so much attached to the service of the lotus feet of Krishna." that he very easily gave up his lordship over the earthly planet and his affection for his children society friends royal opulence and beautiful wife he was so very lucky that the goddess of fortune was pleased to offer him all kinds of material concessions but he never accepted any of these material opulences sukadev goswami eulogizes this behavior of king bharata very highly He says, any person whose heart is attracted by the transcendental quality of the supreme personality of Godhead, Madhusudana, but not to speak of material opulences, does not care even for that liberation which is aspired to by many great sages. This Maharaj Bharat was the son of Rishabdev, and under whose name, after whose name, this planet is called bharat bhar this the same bharat maharaj he left this world uh, <coughs> at very young 24 years young wife children kingdom everything he left <coughs> then he uh, developed some attachment for a young dear so he had to take the bath Uh, in the shape of a deer, the next part he remained silent. Jarvar, the Jarvar story is there in the Shrimad Bhagavat, very enlightening. Hmm. Wow. In the Bhagavatam, sixth canto, eleventh chapter, twenty-third verse, there is a similar statement by Vrtasura, who addresses the Lord as follows: "My dear Lord." By leaving your transcendental service, just see Bhakti Rakham and the Hindu Guru Pogoshami is presenting this Bhakti Rakham and the Hindu, quoting from so many scriptures. Nana Shastra Vicharane ko nipuno. They were very very expert in studying Shastra, very scrutinizing. नाना शास्त्र विचार नहीं क्यों निपुनो सब धर्म संस्थापक हो वाई दिस स्टडी सो मच बिकॉज दे वॉन्ट टू स्टैब्लिश सब धर्म रियल टाइप ऑफ रिलीजन भक्ति कोटिंग फ्रॉम सो मेनी नाना शास्त्र नाना शास्त्र विचार नहीं को निपुनो सद्धर्म संस्थापक हो लोकानाम हित कारिण हो दैट इज वेल वेल एक्टिविटी लोकानाम हित कारिण दीज पीपल आर ट्राइंग टू गिव सम सर्विस टू दी दरिद्र नारायण बट दे डू नॉट नो एक्चुअली वट इज जीवे दया दिस इज जीवे दया 
Lokanam Hitakarino. They should know things with reference to the authorized teaching. Not that I manufacture some word according to my wings. That is not service to the other. That is misleading, disservice. Because if they are kept in ignorance, what is the value of such service? Yes, he, he does not manufacture anything. He is giving immediately evidence, reference to the authorized scripture. That is the way of presenting things. Not that I think, in my opinion, what he was. But in, in Vaishnava philosophy, even Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, although he was Krishna himself, uh, whenever he spoke something, immediately he gave evidence from the Shastra. Even Krishna, while he was speaking Bhagavad Gita, he also gave reference to the Vedanta Sutra. Brahma Sutra Padaishtrayo, Hetu Madhi Vinistitam. He was giving reference to the Brahma Sutra. That is the way of authorized presentation. Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, but he was also giving reference. Uh, he also said, Jasasya Vidimotsya Bhattati Kamakara. So we cannot give up Shastra. Uh, if we give up Shastra, then Krishna says, No Siddhings Abhavnati, no Sukham na Parangati. If we give up Shastra, if we manufacture our own words, own Shastra, we are all less killed. Uh, that should not be accepted. So here you see, Prabhu Goswami is writing. Uh, the slogan, numbers, canto, everything is given. Nana, Shastra, Vichara, Nathan, you know. Go on. My dear Lord, by transcendental service, I may be promoted to the planet called Dhruva Loka, the pole star, or I may gain lordship over all the planetary systems of the universe. But I do not aspire to this. Nor do I wish the mystic perfections of yoga practice, nor do I aspire to spiritual emancipation. All I wish for, my Lord, is your association and transcendental service eternally. This statement is confirmed by Lord Shiva in the Srimad Bhagavatam 6th canto, 17th chapter, 52nd verse, wherein Lord Shiva addresses Sati thusly, My dear Sati, persons who are devoted to Narayan, Krishna, are not afraid of anything. If they are elevated to the higher planetary systems, or if they get liberation from material contamination, or if they are pushed down to the hellish condition of life, or in fact, in any situation, whatever, they are not afraid of anything, simply because they have taken shelter of the lotus feet of Narayana. For them, any position in the material world is as good as another. Narayana Parahasadvi Nakutashtana Vibhati Sarga Naraki Suapi Tullati Darshana Sargapa Varga Naraki Suapi Tullati Darshana There is a similar statement by Indra, the King of Heaven, in Srimad Bhagavatam, 6th canto, 18th chapter, 52nd verse. There Indra addresses his mother in this manner My dear mother, Aditi. Persons who have given up all kinds of desire and are simply engaged in devotional service to the Lord know what is actually know what is actually their self-interest. Such persons are actually serving their self-interest and are considered first-class experts in the matter of advancing to the professional stage of life. That is, everyone is after his self-interest. The real self is approach Vishnu. Om Tad Vishnu Paramam Padam Sada Pashanti Sura. And in the Bhagavati we say, Nati Vidu Sartagati Vishnu. Uh, Sartagati, our real self interest is in Vishnu. They do not know. Bahiratthamani, no? Durasaya, Bahiratthamani. Uh, so one who has fixed us, to 
render service to Vishnu, Krishna. Vishnu Ayad Bhati Pumsa Nanda Tattu Sukarana. So this is the ultimate goal of Sai, to approach Vishnu. <coughs> and the origin of Vishnu is Krishna. Ahama Sarvastha Prabhu, Krishna says. Therefore, his origin of Vishnu, uh, Lord Vishnu, Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva. Sarvasya. Aham Adhi Devanam. Devanam begins, the Deva, demigods begin from Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesha, then other demigods. So, Krishna says, Aham Adhi Devanam. Hmm. In the seventh canto of the Bhagavatam, sixth chapter, twenty-third verse, Maharaj Prahlada says, My dear friends who are born into atheistic families, if you can please the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Krishna, then there is nothing more rare in this world. In other words, if the Supreme Lord Krishna is pleased with you, then any desire that you may have within the core of your heart can be fulfilled without any doubt. As such, what is the use of elevating yourself by the results of fruitive activities, which are automatically achieved in all events by the modes of material nature? Yes. <coughs> the Shastra, it is said, Akama Sarvakama Va Moksha Kama Udaradhi Pibdena Bhakti Yogena Jajita Paramam Akama, there are three classes of men. Akama, without karma, without any desire. That is devotee. And sarvakāma means the karmis and moksha kāma, the jñānis. So whatever you may be, you can engage yourself in devotional service. Akāma sarvakāma vā, moksha kāma udāra. Pībrena bhakti yogena. Jajita Param Purush. Your desires will be fulfilled. Even if you are thinking like Karmi, still you can take to devotion and service, your desires will be fulfilled. Uh, Krishna is so kind, whatever you desire, he will fulfill. Uh, and what is the use for you of, of spiritual emancipation or liberation from material bondage? If you are always engaged in chanting the glories of the Supreme Lord and always, always relishing the nectar of the lotus feet of the Lord, then there is no necessity for any of these. By this statement of Prahlad Maharaj, it is clearly understood that one who takes pleasure in chanting and hearing the transcendental glories of the Lord has already surpassed all kinds of material benediction, including the result of pious activities, pious food of activities, sacrifices, and even liberation from material bondage. Similarly, in the same 7th canto, 8th chapter, 39th verse, when the demigods are offering prayers to Lord Shinha, Indra, the King of Heaven says, O Supreme One, these demons talk of our share of participation in the performance of ritualistic sacrifices. But simply by your appearance as Lord Nishringadev, you have saved us from terrible fears. Actually, our shares in the sacrificial performances are due to you only, because you are the supreme enjoyer of all sacrifices. You are the super soul of every living entity, and therefore you are the actual owner of everything. Long were our hearts always filled with fear of this demon, Hiranyakashipu, but you are so kind towards us that by killing him, you have removed that fear from within our hearts and have given us the chance to place your Lordship within our hearts again. For persons who are engaged in the transcendental loving service of your Lordship, all the opulences which were taken away from us by the demons are counted as nothing. Devotees do not even care for liberation, not to speak of these material opulences. Actually, we are not enjoyers of the fruits of sacrifice. Our only duty is to be always engaged in your service, for you are the enjoyer of everything. Well. <laughs> 
The purport of this statement by Indra is that beginning from Brahma down to the insignificant end, no living entities are meant for enjoying the material opulence. They are simply meant for offering everything <coughs> to the supreme proprietor, the personality of Godhead. By doing so, they automatically enjoy the benefit. <coughs> the example can be cited again <coughs> of the different parts of the body collecting foodstuffs and cooking them so that ultimately a meal be, may be offered to the stomach. After it has gone to the stomach, all the parts of the body, body equally enjoy the benefit of the meal. So similarly, everyone's duty is to satisfy the Supreme Lord, and then automatically everyone will become satisfied. That is called yoga. Yoga is the karma. Go a similar verse is found in the 8th canto, 3rd chapter of Srimad Bhagavatam, verse 20. Kajendra says there, My dear Lord, I have no experience in the transcendental bliss derived from your devotional service. So therefore, I have asked from you some favor. But I know that persons who are pure devotees and have, by serving the lotus feet of great souls, become free from all material desires, are always merged in the ocean of transcendental bliss, and as such, are always satisfied simply by glorifying your auspicious characteristics. For them there is nothing else to aspire to or pray for. In the ninth canto of the Bhagavatam, fourth chapter, 49th verse, the Lord of Vaikuntha recites from Durvaka Muni, My pure devotees are always satisfied being engaged in devotional service, and therefore, they do not aspire even after the five liberated states, which are one, to be one with me, two, to achieve residence on my planet, three, to have my opulence, four, to possess bodily features similar to mine, and five, to gain personal association with me. So, when they are not interested even in these liberated positions, you can know how little they care for material opulences or material liberation. <coughs> there is a similar prayer by the Nagapatni, wives of the Kaliya serpent, in the 10th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, 16th chapter, verse 33. The Nagapatni say there, My dear Lord, the dust of your lotus feet is very wonderful. Any person who is fortunate enough to achieve this dust does not care for heavenly planets, lordship over the planetary system, the mystic perfections of yoga, or even liberation from material existence. In other words, anyone who adorns the dust of your lotus feet does not care a fig for all other professional spaces. Hmm. This was spoken by the Nagapotni when Kaliya was being punished by Lord Krishna uh, kicking over his head. So this pray prayer was offered that for your dust of your lotus feet so many great sages are hankering after and they do not care for even liberation. Simply get your uh, dust of the lotus feet. We do not know how much this fortunate snake is that he is automatically getting the dust. You are kicking on his head. And so you do not know what they did do in his previous life that he is so fortunate. <coughs> All right.
ਸਵਾਦ ਆਪੇ ਸਿਧਾਂਤ ਸਰ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਤ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਕਰਨ ਤੋਂ ਦੀ ਬਚਨ ਲਿਖੀ ਹੈ ਨਵਾਂ ਸਾਹ ਜਿਸ ਦੇ ਹਿਰਦਾ ਛਾਪ ਦੀ ਹੈ ਪ੍ਰੇਮ ਜੇ ਕਹੋ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਕ੍ਰਿਸ਼ਨ ਚੈਤਨ ਪ੍ਰਭੂ ਨੇ ਸਤਾਨ ਅਨ ਸੇ ਅਦੈ ਤੇ ਰਾਧਾ ਸਿਵਾ ਸਾਧ ਗੋ ਭਕਤ ਮਨ ਲਿਆ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਰਾਧਾ ਕ੍ਰਿਸ਼ਨ ਗੋ ਗੋਪਨਾ ਸਾਮ ਕੁੰਦ ਰਾਧਾ ਕੁੰਦ ਗਰੀ ਉਹ ਨਦੀ ਹੈ ਬਿਨਾ ਧਾਮ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਨਵਦੀਪ ਧਾਮ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਗੰਗਾ ਮਾਈ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਜਮਨਾ ਮਾਈ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਤੁਲਸੀ ਦੇਵੀ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਭਗਤੀ ਦੇਵੀ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਵੀ ਤਾਂ ਭਗਤ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਆਲ ਗਲੋਰੀ ਸੂਰਜ ਆਸਮਾਨ ਆਲ ਗਲੋਰੀ ਸੂਰਜ ਆਸਮਾਨ ਆਲ ਗਲੋਰੀ ਸੂਰਜ ਆਸਮਾਨ